Changing the oil on a Harley-Davidson Road King is as simple as one, two, three. I'm Jeff Jeanette, Harley-Davidson Master Technician with Southside Choppers in St. Pete, Florida. Today we'll be discussing changing the oil on the Harley-Davidson Road King. All right, before we change the oil on a Harley-Davidson Road King, you want to make sure you have the appropriate tools and supplies. You're going to have the Harley filter that's appropriate for your bike. If you don't want to use Harley, you can use a K&N style filter or say a Fram filter all of which have their own benefits. Key to them is the way they're removed. Harley filters have flats, so they make Harley filter wrenches that fit the flats. Smooth style filters, you're going to need some form of a strap wrench to grab a hold of the filter. Simple strap wrenches like this one, you can get at Sears. And then you can always go to auto parts stores and buy even fancier ones that are ratcheted. And as you see, this one would work off of a ratchet extension, which would go right in here. It expands to go around the filter and then tightens when you ratchet. You never need to use the oil filter wrench to put the filter back on, however. Secondly, you're going to need a drip pan for the rear, which is going to be the bulk of your oil, and a small one for the front, which is going to be under the filter, unless you want to just let it drain on the ground, which I would highly not recommend. EPA will get very mad at you. All right. On a Road King, the Road King's oil tank is on the bottom, under the transmission. Basically, you have a drain plug that looks just like this. It's sticking on the front of the tank. You'll need a 5-8 socket, small ratchet, untorque it, pull it out, preferably when the engine oil is warm, so it'll run out rather quickly. If it's too warm, you want to be careful not to burn yourself. If you see it start running out, make sure the pan's squarely under the pour. Then you can walk around to the other side of the bike, remove the filler stick, and it'll run out even quicker. While that's draining, I recommend taking the filter off, letting it drain. If the Harley-Davidson Road King that you're working on is a twin cam model, you definitely want to make sure that you get the 10 micron filter and fill it with about four ounces of oil before you screw it back on. Hand tight. Once your oil is drained, you want to clean off the magnetic tip from the drain plug. Preferably install a new little O-ring, which helps it seal. It's a 11105, approximately 50 cents. Screw it back in, snug. Refill with the appropriate type of oil, whether it's synthetic or standard oils. The right amount for your bike, which you can find in a shop service manual, which I highly recommend you purchasing from your local dealer. will tell you the amount and the weight of oil that you need for the bike. You're done. Fire her up, take her for a little test ride, bring her back, check the oil level, Add as you need it. I'm Jeff Jeanette, Southside Choppers, Harley-Davidson Master Technician. Keep the rubber side down.